Well, Moise Quesito bid has been rejected by Brighton. 80 million pounds put in, but the bid has been let down. And obviously, I'm going to let you know which team has gone ahead to put in that bid, and it has been rejected by the side of Brighton. Welcome to Rock and Media Football. Welcome to the Transfer News Show. Rock and David is my name. Smash the like button close to 200 times. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that you do upload in here on a day. Remember, we've started off our new milestone of hitting 17,000 17, subscribers this month. Sorry, this month and next month. So it is that you guys embrace us and take us to the next level of really working. One full year of seriousness and working here on this channel and obviously we are almost getting to the family of 20k i hope you guys are really celebrant with me because we are really hitting steps and levels that we <coughs> expected to hit at the start of this channel so we are talking lavia another 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 bidding war and obviously what we call a hijack of Lavia might be really good if at all Liverpool doesn't obviously hasten up the transfer of Lavia from Southampton to the Masses Hyde and Calmson Odoi obviously finding a club that is going to obviously sign him in the Premier League. It's excitement over there and I think even the player is really enjoying this. Now, today's a Friday. Hope Muslims are really enjoying their day. Uh, that's why I've told you that Juma Karim to all the Muslim viewers and subscribers to this channel because you guys are really great. And I think today you guys are going to go to your respective mosques and obviously put in the required prayers for us and for the entire country and for his health plus your families. Now, Rokan David is my name. You can as well call me RD. And don't forget to obviously follow us on Twitter at Rokan Media FB to get the latest news and information that we don't obviously voice here. So, Let's start it off here. And um, it's all about an exclusive Fabrizio Romano dropped. Chelsea have submitted new bid for Moise Quesido in the last 24 hours. Understand Chelsea's new proposal was 80 million pounds. That is 93 million euros in. And it was immediately rejected by Brighton. Negotiations remain ongoing, but no agreement at this stage. Then David Austin said Chelsea's fourth Moise Quesido proposal to be turned down by Brighton was 75 million pounds plus 5 million pounds of add-on. Brighton don't want to sell despite midfield midfielders wish to go. Chelsea also considering alternative options including Liverpool target Romel Lavia. Now, if you are to go deep into this story, Chelsea are really trying to sign Moise Quesido, but it's really, really, really still far away because if they don't find themselves in a situation of obviously signing the player, then it's really going to look nasty very, very soon because their midfield is really lacking a player of the quality of Moise Kessido. I think that's why they even turned down the bid of West Ham for Guanacaraga, 40 million pounds, because they know that the only way they can accept a bid of Guanacaraga, Guanacaraga is when they obviously get in another midfielder. Losing Guanacaraga, 40 million pounds in, yet you've not gone ahead to agree a deal in principle with Brighton is something that is unrealistic for the side of Chelsea. So that's why they are pushing in for the player. Even I disputed I disputed Chelsea's intent to sign Kudus because Kudus is a midfielder but he doesn't play in the central midfield like a CDM. So I think Chelsea should really man up and obviously get this money and obviously get in Moise Quesido because when you get in Moise Quesido, he's going to be played to that midfield alongside Enzo Fernandez. I believe you get more a lot from Enzo Fernandez for at all. You give him license to really approach what we call the front areas of the pitch. And if at all you don't, then you are losing out onto a lot from this player who obviously looks great. But by bringing Moise Quesido in to play as a CDM, then you are obviously guaranteeing him chance to obviously play into the best role that he thrives in. That's why he's at Argentina. When Parades comes on through and Enzo Fernandez is given license to go ahead and obviously play as a number eight, he obviously penetrates the final third a lot with assists, with goals, and so on and so forth. So, I know Chelsea unseated their planning to make another bid. Unless otherwise, they sit down and obviously come out to a conclusion that we are not signing Moise Quesido because we can't pay 100 million pounds. That's why Arsenal 
pulled out of this deal but chelsea look like they want to get this deal <coughs> done and dusted like they did that of enzo fernandez because they know if they don't sign Moise Kesido in in this summer where Arsenal have gone ahead to spend a lot of money Man City is not up for him United can't have the money to sign the player Liverpool are really not in the Champions League cannot sign the player then next summer either United or Arsenal or Liverpool will go in for Moise Kesido because they'll be having enough much spending power remember Arsenal is going to be in the Champions League, United is going to be in the Champions League and I don't see them failing to accomplish into the top four positions of the league. So, Chelsea have to seize this moment. If they don't seize this moment, then they won't get this player and they want to do like how they did with Enzo Fernandez because if they never signed Enzo Fernandez in the general transfer window, trust me, he wouldn't have gone ahead to join them because several teams have gone ahead to come in through with some huge amount of money. And for Enzo Fernandez, his buyout clause was 120 million euros in January. And if at all it reached the summer transfer window in which we are right now, he would have gone in for 80 million euros. And trust me, clubs would have gone ahead to obviously pay that amount of money to get in Enzo Fernandez after his very good display or impeccable display at the World Cup. And uh, at Benfica when he was playing in the Champions League. So I understand what Chelsea are all about, but it's better to get this deal over the line because if at all they don't, next summer they won't be able to sign the player. You will see teams like Arsenal trying to go in for the player even in January. That is it. So let's wait and see how that pans out. But it's obviously one of those that you obviously understand. But <coughs> Chelsea, after after their 80 million pound bid has been rejected, looks like they are going to hijack a deal of Lavia. And Fabrizio Romano, on what we call the He We Go podcast, said Liverpool will try to be fast for Romeo Lavia as the Hino Chelsea are still keen, are still keeping an eye on the situation. If Liverpool don't lose Chelsea, if Liverpool don't lose, Chelsea are there. However, Liverpool are the big favourites. Now, for Romeo Lavia, we all know that he's a player that is wanted by now Liverpool and Chelsea. But Liverpool are so much interested in this deal because they obviously know that it's obviously going it's obviously going to obviously it's obviously going to get them really where they want to go by getting this deal over the line. So as it stands for me, I really believe that Romeo Lavia is a player who's favorite destination is Liverpool because when you look at uh, mm, when you look at uh, this guy <coughs> Jagen Klopp obviously he has gone ahead to improve players especially those are going ahead to buy in Southampton because Liverpool have gone ahead to buy Sadio Mane Adam Lalana they bought like four or three players from Southampton have gone ahead to obviously be great but Chelsea is trying to hijack the deal because Liverpool put in a bid of 45 million pounds. It was rejected also, and Chelsea might resort to Romeo Lavia and obviously put in that 50 million pound bid. So if at all you are Chelsea, if at, sorry, if at all you are Liverpool, you wouldn't like to gate a bidding war between you and Chelsea. The best thing you're supposed to do is to pay in that huge amount of money and get that deal out of the way. So let's wait and see how that pans out. But Romeo Lavia. To Liverpool is really on because Liverpool is just five million pounds apart from the realistic evaluation of Everton, sorry, of Southampton. And why is Southampton wanting 50 million pounds? Because Man City have 20% of the resale price of the player, meaning that they'll stay with 40 and 10 will go to the city side. Now, as we call this a day. We are obviously coming in with the story of Carlson Odoi and obviously Jacobs Ben has broken the story that Fulham have gone ahead to obviously be in advance talks with Chelsea for Carlson Odoi, a target all summer as previously revealed, player also keen on the move. No fee agreed as of yesterday but Fulham pretty optimistic, Chelsea had asked for 80 million pounds. Now, one thing I would like to credit Chelsea this summer transfer window, they've not gone ahead to buy a lot but they've gone ahead to make good business in sales. Um, Captain America 
that is Pulisic, <laughs> they got close to 20 million pounds. Eduardo Mendy and Kuli Kaudi Kulibali, some good amount of money. A bomb here to Marseille. Um, Mason Mount to Manchester United for 60 million pounds. Kai Havertz to Arsenal for 67 million pounds. And now they are trying to get 8 million pounds from Carlson or Doy, and that's going to be some huge business. For a player that you signed that you never really bought, and he's an academic graduate, to get 80 million pounds out of him, that's a real bargain. Sorry, that's a really, a really, really additive to what the side of Chelsea is getting. And uh, the clear route that is being made is also so much spearheaded by the manager, that is Pochettino, because by the time Pochettino came in through, Chelsea had 36 senior players. <laughs> that is it. Some have seen their contracts terminated and others have walked out on a free, others have been ahead with sale because he wants to really put the dressing room back in order and obviously get things going. So guys, your thoughts on to Moise Quesido, 80 million pound bid rejected by Brighton. A welcome in the comment section below. What do you make about Lavia? It looks like a bidding war is loading. And lastly, Calmson or Doy, do you think he'll succeed at Fulham? All that and more into the comment section below. I sign up for now. See you later. I cover you all on the precious blood of Jesus Christ. To all my Muslim viewers and subscribers, Barak Laufikum and Juma Karim. So, see you in the next two or three hours as we really get this to the next level. I'm out.